Miley Cyrus seems to be moving on just fine from her recent divorce and is already with someone new as I'm sure you know. Lately it looks like Miley and her man Cody Simpson have been parading their love all over social media. Cody seemed to just reappear suddenly after being out of the spotlight for ages. I'm not sure how I feel about this couple yet but looks to me like they're pretty happy and clearly Miley has a thing for those Australian dudes. Miley is a singer, songwriter, actress and activist as well and she's 26 turning 27 at the time of this video. Her music has covered a ton of genres from pop to country to hip hop and so has her style. We know all about Miley's phases and her unique image and she definitely doesn't care what people think. Miley has 101 million followers on Instagram at the moment and she always seems to stay relevant. On top of all the star's successes, she has a net worth that's estimated at 160 million. So I definitely say the star is living comfortably. Today we're going to be focusing on what Miley's done with that money and more specifically her real estate. Miley purchased her first home way back in 2010 for 4.3 million and it was in LA just down the street from her family home so she could go visit whenever she wanted. She sold that one some years later but of course the star still owns a couple of impressive properties and has moved a few times over the years. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to look at where Miley calls home including her previous spots and both her Malibu bachelorette pad and her gorgeous Nashville house that she owns. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Selena Gomez and on Will Smith and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who's home to do next in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Starting with Miley's previous homes, we know that she owned a few really nice ones. Aside from her starter home in Los Angeles that I showed you guys before, she owned a Studio City party pad and a ranch style mansion in Hidden Hills. Apparently Miley owned this home in Studio City, California since 2011, but it looks like it's actually listed on the market now for almost 6.5 mil. It has 5 beds and 6.5 baths and was over 5,000 square feet. The modern layout of this place definitely made it look like the perfect party house and was almost fully open concept with floor to ceiling windows like you can see in the photos. The entire lot covered over an acre of land and of course outside there was a solar heated pool so you could use it year round, a fully covered patio and a picture perfect views of the canyon. In usual Miley fashion, she had some interesting decorations outside like a giant white horse and a Hollywood sign. There was also a guest house at this place just on the other side of the two car garage. Some other features of Miley's Studio City spot included a spacious master bedroom with a skylight and fireplace, a gym and a $10,000 toilet or so I hear. Another one of Miley's previous homes was located in none other than the celeb filled neighborhood of Hidden Hills in LA, you know where the Kardashian Jenners all live. This place was an equestrian ranch that sat on 5 acres of land and the property had a pool and spa, a vineyard, a 10 stall barn, a chicken coop, riding arena and more. Further away from the main house on the property there were also citrus orchards and vegetable gardens. The main house was 6,500 square feet and had 5 bedrooms and 5.5 bathrooms. The style of the home was pretty traditional which you can tell from photos, but I'm sure Miley made some design changes while she was living there. However, Miley ended up selling this Hidden Hills estate in an off market deal for around 5 million which was the same price she bought it because she said she wasn't spending enough time there. So now we've seen the places Miley's put back on the market, but where is she living now? Word on the street is that Miley actually owns a smaller bungalow in Malibu which is right beside the home she lived in with Liam. Unfortunately the main Malibu house they lived in while they were married burned down in last year's wildfires which was obviously pretty devastating. That event definitely affected their relationship as well. Both Miley and Liam shared photos when this happened of what was left of their home. Liam posted saying, It's been a heartbreaking few days. This is what's left of my house. Love. Many people in Malibu and surrounding areas in California have lost their homes also and my heart goes out to everyone who is affected by these fires. And Miley shared photos as well adding that she was so grateful her, Liam and all their beloved pets made it out safely. Although the main home was destroyed, apparently Miley had also purchased a smaller neighboring house that actually ended up surviving the fires. After moving into the main house back in 2015, they bought the second one shortly after for 2.5 million. This bungalow was much 
smaller than the other house, but it's assumed Miley moved in here after her and Liam's separation, and it's been her bachelorette pad. Well, I guess before she started dating Cody, that is. Miley's Malibu home is literally right beside her other one, as you can see from the aerial view. It's a 1,384 square foot ranch style home with four bedrooms and 3.5 bathrooms. It's modern in style, but also unique, and the outside of the house is a bright turquoise color. Seems very Miley. It's been described as a 70s style property, and features include a two-car garage, hot tub, and a gothic style bathroom. I'm not sure if Miley's going to look for a new home in the hills, but it seems like for now, she's happy with keeping this one. From Miley's latest Instagram post, it looks like she's been spending some time at her gorgeous Nashville home recently, so let's take a look at it. Miley bought this home back in 2017, and it's located in her hometown of Franklin, Tennessee, so it's obviously somewhere that's close to her heart. She paid $5.8 million for this place, and it sits on 33.5 acres of land, which is no surprise since it's supposedly a farmhouse style home. Miley's Nashville home is two stories and spans 6,689 square feet. There are five beds and 4.5 baths, and even an elevator. You know, in case you're lazy to walk up the stairs. There are high vaulted ceilings in the home that are fit with large wooden beams, and the design also includes a lot of stone accents and exposed brick. Many of the rooms even have rustic hardwood ceilings. From the photos, Miley's home looks like it's equal parts cozy and modern. I feel like it definitely looks like a place she would live in. The main living space seems pretty open, and it has a huge kitchen and dining area that attaches to the living room as well. You can see from recent pics Miley posted that it's her Nashville home. It looks like she's even brought the boyfriend over to spend some time there with her. Babe? Yeah? Where are you? <laughs> you can see that Miley has made the place her own and even has a portrait of her godmother Dolly Parton above the fireplace. There are plenty of beautiful bedrooms in the home for Miley and whoever her guests are, not to mention a few spacious walk-in closets. On the upper level, there's also a large balcony that can be accessed from some of the rooms. Miley's Nashville estate is extremely private and can only be entered from a private road. Aside from the main house, there's another barn building elsewhere on the property. I think that barn looks more like a guest house though, it's way too nice. Other features outside of Miley's home include a fully covered wraparound porch, an indoor-outdoor room, and obviously a gorgeous stone trim pool and hot tub. If you get bored of swimming and tanning, it also looks like there's an area for mini putt back there. So now we've seen Miley Cyrus's previous home she decided to say goodbye to, like her modern Studio City party house and her ranch in Hidden Hills. Unfortunately, the main Malibu estate she once shared with her ex Liam didn't survive the wildfires last year, and that one she had no choice but to let go of. Although it was heartbreaking, it was probably a bit of a fresh start for Miley to move after her divorce anyways, even though one of her homes is literally right next door to that first Malibu house. It looks like Miley has two properties to her name at the moment, the Malibu bungalow and her gorgeous Nashville house. I'm sure she's splitting her time between the two spots, and apparently her ex Liam has gone back to Australia for the time being, so I don't think she'll be bumping into him that much yet either. We've seen more of Miley's Nashville house than her smaller Malibu bungalow, and it looks like she's hanging out in Tennessee at the moment, but which one do you guys like better? My personal fave out of all of Miley's homes has got to be the Nashville house. I just love how it's cozy and elegant looking at the same time. Okay guys, so now it's time for me to read out some of your comments from previous videos. These ones are from our recent Will Smith house tour. The Renaissance Redneck said, First timer here, huge Smith family fan. Great video. Now I'm a follower. I like the fact that you take the time to read your posts. Huge plus. Thank you so much. I'm happy that you're a new subscriber. I definitely do read the comments, so if there's any other house tours you want to see, let me know. Memory Lestrange commented about Will's house. His mansion has its own zip code. Boy, I could never. Must be nice. LOL. Will deserves it. Right, I've never heard of that before. Just shows you how massive the man's palace is. And finally, Denise Davis said, I think it looks great. It's very warm in the color scheme. I like it, especially with all the world pieces in it. I love how he keeps his eldest son included in his life and family vacays, and I also admire how Jada is with him and even his mom. I agree, Denise. I think Will's house is definitely a little too big for me, but I really like how they made it such a family home and perfect to reflect their style. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Miley's homes. Which property was your fave? Is that where you expected Miley to call home? Be sure to let me know in the comments and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. 
It seems like you guys like the Will Smith one too, so if you want to see more timeless Hollywood stars like that, I would love to know who. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!